This week, the Vatican announced that Cardinal Patrick O'Brien will leave Scotland for several months for the purpose of penance, spiritual renewal and prayer. And even though the announcement didn't directly specify why O'Brien is leaving, in the past he was accused of excessive drinking and also of abusing priests and a seminarian. El comunicado de la... The press release is quite short, but it implies that the cardinal's penance will be done according to the Pope's agreement. But it doesn't seem to be an imposed penance per se, but rather a penance for his sins, for the serious acts he committed. And given the fact that he is a cardinal and a public figure, we've learned that he will leave Scotland for some time to do penance and to pray. In a way, his retreat from public life is unusual precisely because O'Brien is a cardinal. But it does give a glimpse into how both canon law and civil law come into play in these type of cases. Even though he is a cardinal, he's still part of the clergy. And of course, when the clergy commits grave sins against the Sixth Commandment, the person can be punished under canon law. It's all about a process. There are different procedures that can be done to speed things up especially when there's concrete evidence of the crime. There's also the option of initiating a judicial process to clarify the truth. But yes, of course, he is subject to punishment, even if he is a cardinal. The statement also said that, quote, any decision regarding future arrangements for O'Brien shall be agreed with by the Holy See. And according to Professor Barra, when cases like these involve bishops or cardinals, canon law allows the Pope himself to directly take action on the matter. Aunque, habitualmente, eh, it could be that the Pope takes action, but in these type of cases, he would do so through the Congregation for the Doctrine of the Faith. So, in the case of a cardinal, the Pope could handle the case directly. In dealing with a cardinal, there is also the possibility of removing the title altogether, which actually has happened once before. Professor Barra says the fact that Cardinal O'Brien will retire from public life is not just symbolic, but rather it sends a strong message that the Vatican is taking action in tackling sexual abuse cases committed by clergy.